In today's video, we're going to be talking all about early extension. So, what is early extension before we start? Early extension is the majority of players that do that with their lower body. So, the hips push in towards the golf ball. It often occurs because of where the arms go in the transition. It can also occur because of how the body wants to move with the lower body to create power. So, it's definitely an issue because what it does, it really kind of blocks the arms off it. It gets you completely out of sync, meaning the only way you can get real good connection on the ball is kind of through hand-eye coordination, timing, and manipulation. If you're a really good high-level high level skilled golfer or skilled athlete or sportsman or woman, you will be able to do this more often than others. However, it's still a manipulation that we can get rid of through this drill that we're about to talk about. It's, we want to be able to try and get consistent body movement patterns over the golf ball for what we call a full face strike, where we can really feel like we're compressing the golf ball and getting those really nice crisp ball striking moments into impact. So what we're going to do, we're going to take our setup, swing it up to the top of the backswing. We're just going to try and get the sensation that the hips and the in your backside are going to push out past your heels. And as you do so, you're going to really feel like the arms come back down in front of your stomach. Now, I feel like the best way you can do that is to actually feel like the arms are closing the face into the transition. So you get to the top of the back chain, you literally feel like you're using the right hand, the golfers, you're using your right hand to close the face down on the back in the backswing. Yeah. When you do this, it really pulls your lower body back. So then you can create that extension through the golf ball. If you're a golfer that gets the arms going in behind the body, so I often say if, you're, if your right elbow goes past the seam of your t-shirt behind your body, what happens from here to hit the golf ball, your lower body has to move in to bring you closer so you can flip the hands at the golf ball. So you create that manipulation into impact. Manipulation, like I said before, if you're a highly skilled player, is okay. The best players in the world will off do a lot of manipulation along with some obviously fantastic kind of swing fundamentals. Most amateur golfers don't have the swing fundamentals to be able to manipulate consistently. So the feeling here in this transition is that you're going to close the face down as your lower body feels like it's pushing back behind you. Okay. And then you, as you do so, it's going to help you open up your hips to the target when you open up your hips to the target your rotation through the golf ball is always going to be a lot better you'll find that players that drop the club too much inside and early extend hit the ball don't often get that full kind of funnel through position you see my little body here pointing to the right of my target which will be close to target whereas i want my body open to target which would be left of target. So a lot of players actually tell me that they struggle with rotation. They struggle with flexibility. And the reality is, maybe they do. Obviously, I'm sure there's golfers out there with restrictions and you can't do everything you want to do. But the reality of a lot of the times is you're just moving incorrectly. So you move the body incorrectly, you use the body incorrectly. It's not going to do what you want to do. Your desired movement patterns at the end of the day are the ones when you watch the TV and you see Tiger Woods and Roy McIlroy creating this beautiful extension of rotation through the golf ball. So that's what we all judge ourselves on. That's what we all watch and we aspire to be. But if we're making movements from the top of the backswing that don't allow us to get into those desired positions, we're never going to be able to get into that full rotation. So when you make this move up to the top of the backswing, you want to try and really feel that this trail elbow kind of works. You still got width. We're not, we're not making everything super narrow but it works and closes the face so the hands work more in front of your rib cage, in front of your, as in your stomach on the way down. And when you do so, you naturally just move your lower body correctly. It's not a case of having to try and spin the lower body out of the ball and try and create extra hip turn. Again, that's why I see a lot of golfers do, which could also lead to early extension. Early extension is not caused but just by what your arms do. It's caused by what you're trying to do with your lower body. So if you try and swing up to the top and then fire your hips, you fire them off in this direction, you've early extended. You swing up to the top of the backswing and fire them this way, 
you're still moving in the wrong way and you've, you've changed your swing path to an out to in position. So firing of the hips and rotation of the hips is really important, but only really works correctly when you've got the arms working down correctly, when you've got that feeling that the golf club is closing on the way down. You really feel like you're kind of spiraling that right elbow down, that right forearm is rotating down. But as you do so, you'll see that my lower body, as a result, is already started to clear. There's no real reason for my arms to hold the club down into the correct position and to early extent. Your body's often going to react and manipulate itself to what maybe has pre has pre-occurred before it. So if you get into a position that you don't need to early extend, the body will not early extend. Like I said, the early extension is a reaction to something that went wrong before it. So we're going to feel here, as we take the setup, top of the backswing, we're going to feel like we're closing the face down. So I keep my posture. And I'm able to get into that nice full balance follow through position. And as I mentioned as well, getting my lower body open to the target. And by the way, I've just hit that to about six foot. Ice, these, these irons are on it today. Okay, so we've tried that feeling again. We get to the top, close the face down on the backswing and feel like you're pushing your backside and your hips away from the golf ball. And as you do so, you'll also feel like you're opening the face. Now, I appreciate this is kind of three things to do, which is a lot, all right? Let's, let's be perfect and frank about it. That's a lot to think about. Well, the results, and you practice these slowly. You don't have to hit full shots to work it. A little bit of sin, but you don't have to hit the full power, full movements to do it. I definitely felt that as I came down, transition was good. Lower body was rotating. I managed to maintain my posture. So I'm often trying to feel that I stay in posture here and I rotate down. And I'm just going to stress something while it's just come into my head. People try to do this when they think about not lifting their head. Not lifting your head is the worst possible thought process on the planet. Probably for most sports, to be fair. So your body movement, as you maintain posture and you pull your arms down, makes you move. It makes you maintain your posture. Your head is going to come up to meet as immediately as you rotate through. As you get extension up through your left side, your head will come up with it. Your head will be followed, pulled up by the rotation of the core and the upper body. So I had to slight, make a slight digression there. So really, really important to get the feel that the arms work back down in front of your chest. You're going to feel like you're Popping your backside out as you kind of get into that transition. And then you can clear and open yourself up a bit much more comfortably through the impact area. You guys, if you're looking for lessons from me, do hit download the Skillist app. The link is in the description below. Also, if you're brand new to the channel, please hit the like, hit the subscribe. Well, it's to come in 2024. I'll see you next time. Major.